Welcome to WCSN's coverage of ASU men's basketball. Alongside Christina Vicario, I'm Zach Pocklib. Herb Sendick was talking about his team at the Maroon and Gold Open practice this past week and was saying the biggest change is going to be the fact that they don't have Jordan Pachinski, that 7-2 center, protecting the rim. What do they miss with that, with that big man there? That is a huge void for the Sun Devils. Uh, Bachinski came up with so many great last-second blocks. We saw that in the Marquette game, in the Arizona game. Um, and those blocks not only won the game for the team, mm -hmm. it also riled up the team throughout the game. He was that force that would always get players going and keep players' heads in the game. He was so great at boxing out with that wingspan that was almost wider <laughs> than his height. Um, so we're d uh, the Sun Devils are definitely missing a big presence with him this yep. year. And very much earned that Blockchinski nickname. Yes. I mean, it was a lot of clutch blocks <laughs> late in the games, like you said. And now with this crew, I mean, they have transfers. They have Willie Atwood. They have Eric Jacobson, who put on some muscle, uh, that returner. And then they also have Connor McDougal as well. What do we expect from these uh, Sun Devil posts? Yeah, see, along with Pachinski's great athletic prowess in so many different areas, mm -hmm. there were some things that he lacked. And maybe some of the guys that we fill in, th that the Sun Devils fill in this year, um, can fill those things that Pachinski couldn't do, such as his speed. He was a great, big, tall guy, but mm -hmm. he didn't have the greatest speed. So I would say that that's something that the players definitely could do, um, as well as his shot. Sometimes he couldn't find the basket, um, visualize the basket before <laughs> he got his shot off. That was something that he's criticized for over and over again. And these guys are known to be able to guard right around the post mm -hmm. and I think that's definitely something that they can improve on where you know maybe they don't have Pachinski anymore but these are things they can bring to the mm -hmm. team and the team as a whole is telling uh, telling us that they really want to play up tempo and they're like a, a really quick group this year and so um, of those new posts of the returning posts who are the people that or what's the one player that you're gonna watch for this year well obviously Eric Jacobson he um, trained behind Pachinski mm -hmm. last year he'll probably get the projected start at center behind him this year is Connor McDougal. Um, he is a product out of Corona del Sol, a local high school, mm -hmm. and he um, has been coming along great. Uh, I, I got the pleasure of talking to him <laughs> the other day, and he is just ready. He's focused. He's mm -hmm. ready to build off of um, everything he's learning from Jacobson. And overall, I think he he also played in football, so he has that big athletic physical presence mm -hmm. uh, that he can bring to the team and he can also be a very big asset to guarding that post. Yeah and you wrote a very nice feature for him on CronkiteSports.com and Jacobson was also compliment, complimenting Connor McDougal on how physical and strong he is just as a freshman but there's a lot of questions about this Sun Devil, uh, Sun Devil team and we slowly try to figure it out but that does it here for us tonight. For Christina Vicario, I'm Zach Pocklip. Thanks for watching.